Hello guys, how you doing? Today we'll be touching a very interesting subject of why I think that top rolling is better than hooking. But first, let's see. One, why I didn't posted this week that many videos so it was a very hard week a ton of work you can check on my dad youtube channel to see what we work i'll give you a little bit of instruction a house then what I think to post next week so so I pause the video to collect some water the dogs were barking on me a lot let's get to the second thing which is next week I will show you how to train your pronation in the best vector for armor sling what I think about it and how it develops the best mind muscle connection next video is a little bit of a guide more how to top roll against a very strong hook these are the videos let's get to the main subject of this video now why I think that top rolling is better than hooking so first before attacking each technique we must identify what is top rolling and what is hooking so let's start with the top roll top rolling is all about when you are attacking the wrist and fingers of the opponent the weakest part in the chain that's what's up about it's mostly pretty hard to execute depends on the style you want to use there are posting top roll low hand top roll sweeping top roll open top roll and the king's move each one has a complicated setup technique speed of how you do it but that's what top rolling is then yeah this is a very simple guide because we can explain more like what muscles it uses more like for top roll we use pronation wrist flexion side pressure or back pressure you can use both of them you can use more of one you choose then we have hooking hooking is all about attacking the opponent rotation and getting the arm from hand on hand contact on arm on arm or wrist on wrist contact this is very important how you can initiate a top roll is very different from how you can initiate a hook for example a top roll is initialized with back pressure then attacking the wrist and hooking is initialized by cupping or supinating or both things then 
yeah, after you got the arm on arm battles, almost no return point. So let's get into it. We've discussed what is each one, what are the parts of the top roll and different techniques in the outside lane. Then we've got a little bit of the parts of hooking. Let's get to what techniques are using hooking. You can have high hook like I use, lots of pronation and cupping. You've got your basic deep hook, defensive hook, drag hook who can drive, things like that, hooking to me is very difficult to do, I only do high hooking with committing the shoulder, I can't go with pure side pressure, only with side pressure from the shoulder. Now, the pros and cons for top rolling, it's easier to master if you have a fast mind, it's better if you are more of, you train more for longevity in this sport, you want to pick the faster and easier way to pin, because after the wrist has bent back, there's no point back. You can't get your wrist only if I give you my pronation. Nobody's going to do this. No end point. Then, easier on the elbow, harder on the wrist. It depends easier to train because you can train your top pro by pronation, cupping, rising if you're a posting top roll, chopping if you're a low hand top roller, depends on many things. It's pretty much a little bit complex, let's get to the cons complex, hard to execute, it depends, if you learn how to hook, bad idea to start top rolling, only if you want, or if you are a very versatile puller, like if you hooked for one month, it's easier to learn how to top roll, but if you learn how to hook for, let's say, three to four years, then go with the hook. Yes, so you must master the set for top roll, because when the setup is not good, you can easily get hooked or get pinned. Complex in terms of speed, you must have a very nice speed and be very fluent. If you are a low hand top roller, just like me, and if you pull and cup, it's easier, but if you drag, cup, go to the side pronate, I seen some mistakes and I did them also by thinking that you can just purely pronate easily because I arm wrestled with some weak guys only after I trained with some stronger guys. They had pretty weak wrists and I was just pronating using my pronator muscle. Yes, I have a pretty strong pronator muscle when you can 
easily do like with 18 kilos for reps on isolation without any back pressure without any side pressure anything yes you have a big pronator strong pronator but it's still not enough to crack the wrist back you must go neither to the side or to the back if you are more of a hammer type puller now let's get to the pros of hooking hooking is all about getting your strengths in and getting the battle arm on arm which means that if we are relative in strength so relatively the same endurance will do the difference it's very hard to pull it you don't need a very perfect setup you can just purely like go grab his thumb make sure to make a pocket it will be easier supinate then cup it will be easier to cup after you get uh, some supination I don't know where to put my phone just to stay nice uh, good no no complex setup if you are very strong then just go and hook it allows you to use mostly your arm power it doesn't matter that much about wrist power if you are fighting mostly hook pullers you will always go into the hook with them if you are fighting against top rollers then it depends if they are stupid slow or weak you choose it or they handle it then it's easier on the wrist the wrist will not injure that easy let's before we get into the cons of the hook please if you like what I do give me a thumbs up subscribe and push the notification button to not lose more interesting videos to become a arm wrestling champion and to not lose more great stuff about training pulling and lifestyle changes I think that the third video after the how to top roll against a strong hook will be about diet we need to do a video of that so it's a small button for you but a big thing for me that's what I'm asking you if you need help comment down below I will 100% help you only if I know so let's get to the cons of hooking hard on the tendon of the elbow big injury risk you can snap the hammers which is one of the worst things that can happen then you've got yeah you take a basic setup you arm wrestle against a versatile puller he is a posting top roller you think but he immediately switches to low hand top roll and he easily pins you because 
you have no more strength after your wrist flexion goes away. Only if you are a flop presser. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Because if he is a low hand top roller, then he will 45% cup and take your rotation. Then we've got one more con, which is that in hooking you have to hold on, which means that your riser will get taken down, and that's bad news. If you can hook with a riser, you are at a advantage. You are in a high hook if you maintain your pronation one of the most advantageous styles these were the cons then next let's get to why it is easier to train just for top rolling fewer muscles to train if you are a king's mover you don't need almost any muscle just biceps and lats and riser and kickback so the things that you need a little bit of joke don't king's move guys hard move I tried it, it feels bad on the ulnar part of the wrist bad can top roll for two to three weeks and if i hook i'll lose next the main subject why top rolling should be chosen over hooking if you truly want to go to the top you've got to choose the top roll because it's the faster and easier road not that much energy spent and easier to pull off so this was the video enjoy watching it oh here yeah, I forgot this will not mean that you should not choose to hook you have to be very versatile yeah top rolling is superior to hooking but that doesn't mean that you have to stop just do everything but choose your main style over what I said to you and see you next time be strong and love Armistead bye